Alright guys, so we continue to explore metal options. Now we're gonna check out the Anzotropy. So I'm going to open my materials and go to brushed. I'm gonna check out those options. And I'm also gonna start my interactive render. And put the rich in here. Now we can go to our material by double clicking and let's put the diffuse to black and reflect to white let's get the R glossiness 0.7 and disconnect uh, connect the IR for now with the value of 16 so you can see it's very shiny uh, brushed metal all right now let's go to our anzotropy scroll down till you reach the anzotropy here and let's try different values let's put 0.6 And we can also take a look at that material here. See how this stuff works. So we can see that now it's bending one way. If we put it into the minus, it's gonna bend the other way. Again, those values can be changed by just dragging and following your reference in order to find the right uh, anisotropy direction for your metal spread. Okay, we can also see the rotation. With the 20 value, and if we scroll down, about With the 20 value and if we increase the rotation we can see how it's actually bending and rotating so check out the 20 value check out the 80 value for this shape now if we go to our bitmap right here zero one let's click uh, view image so we can see how this image works here let's take that and connect that to the anzotropy we have here an rotation so let's connect that to anzotropy rotation and now let's try the rotation can see right here we have amp that means the map is connected so let's set it to 75 this looks fine now and now let's select another bitmap number two let's view that image that's how it looks and number three this one got uh, those micro polished anodized scratches and let's check number four this one got even better so now let's work with those three materials let's connect that to the end rotation bitmap number two so you can see a small fine rotation bitmap number two to I need to zoom in in order to see what am I connecting. So reflect map to the reflection. And that one with uh, with the more scratches, let's connect that to the bump. So we get a nice bump on those guys. So you can see we already start getting this nice carbon 
based looking material which looks pretty cool with all those uh, connected maps now let's go back to our material here and scroll down here put the reflect parameter a little bit less to 80 so it will not reflect that much and the bump let's put it into four and reduce our reflection here completely to black and now we can see that this material works like real carbon fiber with a nice dark fallout and the reflective parts that are turning towards us with the fresnel and towards the light we have in really nice cool hot spots all right so go ahead try this out and see what results you get and also you can save that material and reuse it for your carbon-based objects mm -hmm.